So after four years of undergrad, four of medical school, five of residency, and the two in fellowship, Sandra entered her career as a young surgeon feeling occupationally fulfilled. But during her off hours, she wasn't really sure if she had any hobbies left. And over the 17 years of education, she'd come to realize it was as if she had lost a sense of self, perhaps undergone a culturectomy. It is not uncommon for medical education, in medical education, that learners will set aside their non-hospital interests in effort to hone their craft and selflessly, they devote hours to their training, which is what we want, right? Consider a time when you've been a patient. As patients and loved ones ourselves, we know that compassionate care goes far beyond rote learning. So how do we ensure that our future physicians our empathetic providers able to adapt and communicate effectively and innovate and be able to partner with patients and clinical care teams. My research in art education seeks to explore how it may impact medical education in this very way. Enter Arts Cafe, a partnership and pilot study with the UK Fine Arts Institute, the Arts and Healthcare, and General Surgery Residency. Part family dinner and part art class, the voluntary monthly workshops invite the residents to bring guests and they're able to convene and it both bolsters the existing support systems as well as incubates new connections to peers. In preliminary surveys, the residents indicated feeling only slightly connected to their colleagues, which illuminates the need for the work. Now, it's important to note what the workshops are not. First, these aren't art therapy sessions. The residents describe them as engaging and challenging, and by putting forth modalities such as printmaking and pottery, we can bring the group collectively to a beginner's mindset. And in doing so, and the occasional frustration that follows, peels away boundaries and eases into connection. Secondly, we get that we're not making studio artists. While they're very talented, learners may have set aside in may have set aside their interests, assuming that it's one or the other, humanities or hard science, when in fact it's one for the other. By encouraging our medical learners to embrace their unique interests, we hope that it will translate into more humanistic practice when they enter their careers. So, what the study is, is an effort to counteract culturectomies during medical education, and in the end, don't you hope our future doctors can be humans first? <laughs>